Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a sound test of the MI neckband. So this is a Bluetooth neckband uh, which can be used on a single device. So let's go ahead and uh, do the sound test now. So right now we are doing the bike test. The mic on this is over here. So whatever sound you are getting is coming from this side. Let me just tap it. So the sound is coming from here, not from the phone. So we'll be riding now since the mic is here and even if I wear a helmet, it's not going to obstruct. Uh, actually, I'll not talk about that right now. Let's just do that. So let's go ahead, start the bike. Uh, and uh, ride without the helmet, but it is not recommended. I am going to raise my quality. So uh, over here, helmet is not required, but when you're on the road, I don't know how much we need to hear me in this planning for the mic, so this is going to be a problem. Now let's wear the headband. Okay, so we are wearing the helmet with the visor open, so that's going to be an open face helmet. So, in this scenario, the mic is still over here. So, I don't know how much of a difference will you find with this. There's a lot of wind, so there should be a little bit of wind sound. Now, uh, this does not advertise uh, wind noise reduction, so I cannot really say anything about that. Now, let's go ahead and close the visor and see how well the so okay, yeah, so let's go ahead and close the helmet now. Now, once you close the visor, disable the uh, closed face helmet. On this scenario, the sound is equal. So, uh, I'm going down from here. So, you should be able to hear me better than other scenarios. Uh, the wind is still a factor. The wind is going to hit over here. Uh, but since the sound is echoing and focusing towards this side, you may be able to hear me better than the other scenarios. So, that's it for the bike test now let's go to the mall and do some mall tests and then see how good the sound is going to be in crowded places we'll take it to the traffic also and then the water test also will be done so let's go okay so we're walking inside the mall now a lot of people a uh, lot of music sounds so hopefully you can hear me well now the mic on this is over here so the entire sound that you're getting is from here so that's where uh, the sound is coming from so it's it's not that bad, it's not too far away, but it's not as good as the ones which are going to be here. So hopefully you can hear me well. Okay, so we are doing the water sound test uh, uh, with uh, 70 water fountains near me. So let's see how much can you hear me. Now the entire sound that you're hearing is from the mic over here. So in case uh, you're not able to hear me well and there's a lot of disturbances because of this mic. Okay, so we're doing the traffic test now. So I'm uh, standing next to a busy road where there's a lot of traffic. So a lot of honking, a uh, lot of uh, people, a lot of I mean, a lot of mixed sounds. Uh, okay, so there's a bullet with a illegal silencer. So you know, that one. So a lot of sounds around me. So hopefully you can hear me well. Now the mic is over here. So the sound that the entire sound that you're getting is from here. So hopefully you can hear me. Okay, so you guys have seen the video. Now, basically, uh, these are average performing uh, earphones, uh, mic-wise. Now, if you look at the wind noise reduction, it did not do a great job because the mic is anyways over here. The mic is not uh, next to your mouth. Like, if you look at similar earphones, all of them have the mic on the wire itself, which is coming up over here. So, it is easier for you to uh, use it. Now, Changing it from here is actually a little more difficult than changing it from here where the wire is and then you just hold the wire and then do uh, anything. Now that's one thing which I noticed. Uh, now if I compare it with those kind of earphones where the mic is here, it's not going to be close to it. Uh, because uh, this is going to get covered with the helmets. This is going to be close to your mouth. Uh, so people and I've even seen people actually bite the wire and then keep it like that and then talk. I don't know how do they do that but uh, that's also an option. But with this you cannot do that. Now uh, so wind noise wise is not that great but there's a solution. If you are actually wearing some fabric over it like if you're wearing a jacket or if you're wearing a shirt or something and it goes inside it. So the fabric itself deflects the wind noise. Uh, so that way it's going to be good. So that's the only option uh, if you want to use it while you're riding a bike. Uh, 
uh, other scenarios were okay but then i i felt that uh, in the traffic sound uh, like in this video there were two bullets which went with uh, uh, like loud silences so those, those sharp sounds did come in it was not as sharp as some other uh, earphones like um i will not name now, uh, them now so it's not as sharp as the other ones but it was quite sharp it was able to get a lot of the background sound the good thing though is it did not let your voice go down so a lot of other mics what they do is when there's a lot of sharp sound it balances it and your voice goes low in this your voice did not go low you were able to get my voice and the background sound a lot of background sound too so it's going to be a realistic one so it's not going to be one where you go into a disc or bar and then you call your wife and then say that uh, i am at home or i am at office no this is going to tell them where you are so there there actually are some mics which can actually do that if you want to know about them you can message me and i'll tell you about it so uh, okay so coming back to the point so average performing mic uh, you've seen the video you can decide for yourself uh, if it's going to be for you or not so that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe, hit the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.